Welcome back. The pandemic has made protecting our family from illness an even greater focus. But new research reveals mistakes that some of us are making in the kitchen may be putting our loved ones at risk. Eyewitness News Health Beat reporter Mark Killer has more from Wilkesbury. Those mistakes have to do with frozen foods, which have become as popular as ever during the pandemic. But if you're not careful, they could make you and your family sick. When you want a meal and you want to make it fast, frozen food is hands down the food of choice. In this day and age, a lot of people are on the go, different things, you know, especially with children. You got to run here, you got to run there, so you got to get something quick. Not only quick, but frozen foods won't grow foodborne illness bacteria while they're frozen. Yet new USDA research shows about a quarter of study participants become vulnerable when it's time to prepare the frozen food item. What are some of us doing wrong as we're stocking up on our frozen foods? So a lot of people don't realize that some frozen foods aren't fully cooked and ready to eat. There are products that are frozen that are still considered raw, even though they may look cooked with a breading or with grill marks or something like that. Not cooking that frozen entree long enough can lead to a foodborne illness, which can be downright nasty, if not dangerous. Most common symptoms of foodborne illness are going to be nausea, vomiting, uh, going to the bathroom quite a lot. Even hospitalization and, in extreme cases, death. Whether the food is frozen or fresh, Carruthers says what you need to do to avoid foodborne illness is follow the four steps to food safety. Clean, separate, cook, and chill. So making sure you're starting with clean hands and washing your hands throughout meal preparation, keeping any raw foods separate from cooked or ready to eat foods, cooking those products to the safe internal temperature to kill all of that harmful foodborne illness bacteria, and then refrigerating in a prompt amount of time uh, after that product has been cooked and if you have any leftovers. Do you have more questions and want more information about food safety? Just head to pahomepage.com to get the answers you need. With the Health Beat in Wilkesbury, Mark Hiller, Eyewitness News.